guys, Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors today. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. We're going to do some more work on our on our chronic pain ABCs, and we are at the K. Just going to set that aside. Now, um, grabbed out my little basket. I got a little basket of just goodies here. I like to play with. Ooh, ooh, that's going to be cool. Hmm. I think we're going to cover it with that. Let's see if there's anything else in here I might want to use. Um, I don't know if that'll show up on there. I don't really like that. How about... This is just um, a basket of stuff. Stuff that I just play with. No, it's not going to go on there. Um, you know what I'd like to find is some... Uh, this, but I don't want it with the post office. So let's see. Hold on. Put that back. I know I have some of the Tim Holtz paper. Aha, right here. That I want to use. I'm surprised I don't have this gone yet. Alright, so there's that. Alright, so today we're going to talk about our keywords. Our K. And what do we have? <laughs> we have kinks, kick, knockout, and knots. Hmm, interesting words. Kink. All right, kink. Yeah, I'm always having kinks. I think anybody that has chronic pains, we, <laughs> we have kinks. Whether it's a kink in our neck, a kink in our leg. <laughs> it's just, you know... Unfortunately, it's kind of like all the same. We all have to deal with it. Uh, I'm just going to put this right here in the middle. That works, right? Let's see what it looks like when we take all this extra off here. Oops. So, yeah. So, um, with our Ks, um, it's kind of hard to find words uh, beginning with a K that describes chronic pain. Um... But definitely kink is one of them that I always have to deal with. Um, a knot, oh my gosh, my legs always feel like they're in a big knot, so that's a huge one for me. I wonder if I flip this over. No, I don't like that side. Okay. So, yeah, um, they're difficult. Sometimes it's really hard. You, you never know when you wake up in the morning, are you going to be able to move? Or, um, you know, what's going on? It's, it's kind of difficult. So, kink and knot. Oh, that turned out pretty cool. I like that instant background. Voila! Now, let's see. I don't think I really want to do this on the background. All right, so let's work on this one first. So, we've got kinks and knots. Um, I want this paper right here is what I want. I want this, just this writing part. So yeah, um, what do you guys think? I, I can't wait to see what your words are because, like I said, I had a kind of a hard time um, coming up with some of these words for the K. Now, um, the, the good words, I didn't have a problem at all coming up with. And we'll do those on the other side. But um, the bad words, yeah, I had kind of a difficult time trying to figure out how I wanted to, um, you know, do the... The, what I call the bad words. I'm not sure if that's the right terminology to use, but oops, that's a clean one. I don't need that right now. Let's take one I'm already using. All right, so yeah, K's. What else? What else can we think of? Um, like I said, kick. Sometimes, you know, I feel like somebody's kicked me in my shoulders or um, just recently, I woke up not too long ago, and I swear, I felt like I had been hit in the face with a baseball bat. I don't know what the deal was. Um, it was on my right side, and it just was not, it just wasn't cool. It really hurt, and yeah, is that fibro? Was it an infection? Who knows? Um, so I don't know. I'll tell you, your body does weird, weird stuff when you end up with some type of a disease like fibro. 
it just stinks okay so I went through my little drawer here and I just pulled out all kinds of stuff um, let's see I thought that was kind of cool because it's got a little knot in it um, this is actually a knot it's chronic pain I don't know what that is oh I like her Oh, she might have to go on here. No, she can't go on the good, bad side. She might go on a good side. Here's another knot. Let's see. Yeah. Not a whole lot of knotty stuff. This is kind of cool. This is more like a kink, I think. Right? So this is actually a doodle... Um, done on Dina Wakely uh, collage paper that a friend of mine when I got the packs of collage paper in the mail for some reason I did not realize that the there was only 10 patterns and the other 10 sheets were blank and uh, I was like dang I said I really want um, patterns and she says, well, I can doodle it for you. And I said, are you sure that's a lot of work? Yeah, send them to me. So I sent them to her. And oh my gosh, girl, I absolutely love them. So this is the only one that I'm actually physically cutting up the paper. The rest of them I have scanned on my computer and I print them out. And that way I'll be able to use them over and over and over again. So thank you, my dear, dear, sweet friend. All right, so I want to put this on here because that just kind of represents a lot of what I'm thinking. So let's grab some glue. Where'd it go? Right here. And I need a paper. So I'm not gluing everything on my desk or on the tag. All right. Whoops. Tore that piece right off. Look at that. That's okay. It's a good. Oops. I'll put this piece up here. Just because we can. That's because my fingers are all gluey. So, um, yeah. So, you know, Kay's kind of a difficult one. <laughs> but, um, you know, we can do this. We can do this. Let me just put that one down. Oops, come on, you. I know you want to stay on there. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Phone calls and you name it. Lunch was delivered and, yeah, all that happy stuff. All right. I've been sitting here looking at this and I'm thinking, I want to put a lot of this on here for the knots. So I'm going to get smart and I'm going to turn it over and do the good side first. So let's do that. All right, so what's our good words? Uh, let's see what we've got here. All right, well, we've got know your triggers. Okay, so in other words, know or also known as knowledge. Um, understand what causes um, you to have difficult days and difficult times. That's, that's going to be huge. Um, it takes a while when you're new to a, a uh, and I decided to use this, when you're new to um, your injury or your chronic illness or your pain, it takes a while to know what exactly is going to cause an issue and how bad it's going to be. Um, it's trials and tribulations. I mean, you know, there were some times I thought, oh, well, I did this and it didn't bother me too much. Yeah, and then you do it again and it's like, oh, yeah, no. But you have to learn. You have to learn what your triggers are. You have to learn, um, you know, what what causes more pain or more grief or more depression or more issues. Um, you know, let me tell you, fibromyalgia is not something you can really get a... a hang on to it, it just doesn't you can't get a handle on it I have a really hard time and I think it's because it's it's newer to me I mean I've dealt with back issues but this um, fibromyalgia I just can't figure it out you know I wake up in the morning and it, and it seems like you know I have this little 
bad fairy in the middle of the night that's beating up my body. Um, because I can never, I just never seem to be able to get it right when it comes to the fibromyalgia. But I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm, you know, figuring out things that make things flare and trying to figure out things that don't make things flare. And <laughs> it's like, it, you know, it, it takes a while. You got to figure it out. And then when you think you have it figured out, it changes. <laughs> so, yeah, fibromyalgia, <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving, let me tell you. <laughs> um, but anyways, I don't know why I thought that was funny, but... So, yeah, you really have to have knowledge, and you have to test and try. That's really all you can do. Now, there was a couple things I thought about. I thought about putting this lady on here, without the head, of course. And then I thought, let's see, I could just have her sit right here, right? Maybe she'll just sit right there. And then I was thinking all of her knowledge could be right here. So I could put my, my K words in there. That was one idea, which I might go with that one. Then I thought about, ooh, talk about knowledge. There you go. Cat in the hat's knowledge. I guess I should have not even bothered putting a background on there, huh? No, we'll use that somewhere else. So this girl is going to go on here, and I'm going to use her, like I said, for knowledge because um, it you it's trial and error, but you, you just have to keep learning. I'm going to use this as her knowledge. So let's glue these down. I don't know what that's for. Move you. Move you, I say. Move you. Oops. I got lots of glue on that one. Good Lord. All right. So, yeah. Knowledge is key. Um, what else do I have on here? Um, be kind to yourself. Do you know how many times I hear people say, well, I beat myself up over it. And trust me, I'm, I'm one that does it too. But, you know, I've really, I've got this saying that I've, I've come to use. And I really like it because it makes me stop and think. And that is treat yourself the same way you would treat your best friend. So, if your best friend's having a bad day, are you going to tell him, suck it up and move on? No, you're going to say, I'm really sorry, hon. Why don't you relax and rest? And, you know, if your friend calls you and they're really sick and they can't make it to an appointment or, uh, you know, something that you guys have planned, are you going to get mad at them? No. So, why do you get mad at yourself? Like I said, I've done it. I know. I keep them little feet. Um, so it's very difficult. It's really, really difficult to try to keep all of that in balance. And it's difficult to be kind to yourself. Um, but you really need to because who else is going to do it if you don't, you know? Yeah, we rely on family and friends and, you know, our spouse and all that. But, you know, really think about how you're treating yourself and... Start being nice to yourself. I like that little. I'm going to put that right there. Just for being kind. Be kind. So, now I'm going to grab my pens. And i got to give this girl some personality. Come on. I just like that little heart. So, that had to go there. All right. So let's give this girl some personality. Um, let's use, let me use my Derwent's, hold on. Let me use my Derwent's for this. Or maybe, Uh, let's use some woodies. Why not? Now, if you guys haven't seen these before, these are called Stabilo Woodies, and they're basically a watercolor crayon. Um, they're um, they're great. They're they're full of pigment. They're just 
Um, I enjoy them. I enjoy using them. So I'm just going to put some orange on there and let's give her... And the reason I picked orange is I, I just grabbed this orange out of here. So I thought, why not? Let's use orange. So basically, you put the color down and you take your water pen, which is not in here. Huh. Um, you find a water pen, water brush, and you just activate your color. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, be kind. Um, sometimes it's difficult, but you know, we have to do it. We, we, you know, it, it's, it's so hard to beat your, you know, or I shouldn't say hard. It's so easy to beat yourself up and it's so hard to be kind to yourself, but it's something I think we all have to learn. And I'm not even talking about somebody without, you know, with chronic pain, anybody, you know, how many times do we, you know, degrade ourselves? Well, you idiot, what'd you do that for? Well, that was stupid. You know, you, I should have known better. That kind of stuff. We do it every day. I know I used to. I used to beat myself up when I made a mistake. I felt like I had to be perfect. And I'll tell you, it's not easy. <laughs> not easy being perfect. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> um, but, you know, we, we have to... Start being good to ourselves. See how much pigment is in here? I mean, I'm not using a whole lot of this. I'm just putting down a little bit of color. And I love the fact, if you look at this, I love how it waters out. Let me bring you guys down in. I'm not sure why you're so far out. So yeah, we have to be kind to ourselves and be kind to each other. Um, I know, I think it's Kelly Donovan's always saying, you never know what another person's fighting. And it's so true. Um, you know, you may see somebody walking down the street and you may automatically think something. And you know what? You have no idea. You have no idea what that person is dealing with. Um, and it's difficult. Sometimes life is really difficult. But be kind. You know, speaking of being kind, what I'd like you guys to do um, is why doesn't everybody go into the artsy and I'm sorry, the my art play through chronic pain um, database? And how about you send just a random act of kindness to the people in the files with their address? I think that'd be a great idea, don't you? I know I've sent out a bunch of cards and. Um, I would love to see others do it as well. So, you know, this this week with our K's being kind, let's do that. Let's send out some little tokens of, of kindness to others. I think that'd be a great idea. I'm just kind of activating that color. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> I like her blue head. I got to change the color of her head though. I don't, you know. Let's see. Let's. Oh, purple. Where's my purple? I'm not gonna do it like that because it's too big. Just take some color. I'd see this shirt on a rack and I'd be like, ugh. <laughs> but it looks good on her. <laughs> That's the greatest thing about art supplies. You can do whatever you want, make them look the whatever, however you want. Right? So what else can you do to be kind to yourself? Um... I've been trying to get back into uh, into you know going and having pedicures if I can or 
um, you know, just get my eyebrows waxed or anything, anything, um, just to be a little bit kinder to myself and, and you know, kind of pamper myself. Why not? You only live once. All right. So that looks pretty good. What are we gonna do with her her head? We gotta change her color of her head. Let's make her a little bit darker. I have a... Let's see. Because I wanna write on it, so let's use this. Now let's take this and just kinda <laughs> this is where we're going to write to be kind to ourselves and to gain knowledge of your um, injury and, you know, look for help. So that's where we're going to write. There we go. I like that much better. Now let's take our heart and let's make this a little bit what that was. So even if you have something like this, this piece of um, like a die cut or collage or a piece from somebody else's art, you can always alter it. Just, you know, add your different colors to it and make it the way you want it to look. It doesn't have to stay the way it was. Some of these images like that, I'm pretty sure I cut out of magazines. And I really enjoy cutting stuff out of magazines because it gives me just a different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just different art to use, different images to use. Let's see, I want the one. Oh, that's salmon. There. My Neo Color 2's. I just want to give her some color. I don't want her to be all white. So she looks human, not alien. We need to make her look human. She does. Just throw a little bit more in here. Yeah, there we go. Isn't she cool? I love her. All right, so let me dry this up real quick, and then what we're going to do is we're going to write on the front of this, and then um, I'm going to put that right in there. I uh, better hadn't because then I'll be looking for it. Um, we're going to write on here what we're going to do for our knowledge, probably put some dots, that kind of thing, and then we'll finish up the back side. I'll be right back. So I got this dry so I can write on it now. So what was the first thing we said? The first thing we said is we have to know, right? Know your triggers. Gain knowledge. And always be kind to yourself, right? Now I'm just doodling, sorry. All right, so that's the f that's our words for our good words. Um, I want to put some dots on here because I can. Because you know I'm a kind of a dot person. And... All right. 
nice. So this is our good words. I can't wait to see what kind of words you guys come up with because, you know, you always, um, it may be something I forgot and you guys always let me know, hey, you forgot to say this one, which is true. There are some of them that I do forget. So there's that one. So let's go to the back side. Now this side we talked about um, the knots and all of that crazy stuff that happens um, that wakes us up straight out of bed at night. The knots, the kinks, the um, <laughs> um, the kicking. I use kicking. But uh, there's also another one I have on here, which is knockout. Now, the reason I say knockout is because, boy, there are times when I just prefer somebody would knock me out and, and just... I can't do it. It drives me crazy. Sometimes I'm just like, I, I, it, something's got to give. I can't do this anymore. So what I wanted to do with this, um, we're always talking about knots, and I just want to make a bunch of random knots in here. Why? I don't know, because I can. Come on. I'm just going to make some knots because this is what I always feel like when I end up, well, that's a good knot. Um, this is what I always feel like when I'm in bed. This is what my spine likes to do to me. And this is what, um, I, sometimes I just, I can't. <laughs> I can't seem to get these knots undone and my muscles just don't like, you know, they fight me and so I've got some knots here and you know what I think what we're gonna do I was gonna use this for my fiber but I think instead I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna have this knot hanging down here come on It's like playing, playing cat's cradle, right? No, I want it to go the other way. So I want it to go... Uh, think, Cindy, think. I want it so this hangs down on this side. So actually I should have went in the other way. I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm just, you know, it's my brain thinking things. Come on, go in there. So, yeah, so this one, this video is kind of strange because, like I said, K-words are kind of hard to come by um, when it comes to the chronic pain, and those are the ones I could think of. Like I said, um, knowledge, and there we go. I want that to hang down there. So there's one of my knots. And then I have this knot, which this just did it by itself, so I'm just going to add to it. But we're going to add this knot on here. Take our tacky glue. All right. So like I always say, thank you guys so much for joining me on this crazy chronic pain journey. And if you have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns, whatever, um, definitely leave them in the just you know in the box below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate it and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and by the way I am loving seeing your tags so definitely keep sharing them with me they're a lot of fun to see um, not only the you know the words you come up with but your creativity that's just it's a lot of fun to look at and I enjoy it. It gives gives me that brightness in my day. All right. And um, I think I'm almost done with this one. Oh, I didn't put my words on here, did I? Let's put our words on here before I go. We've got kinks. We've got not. We've got, where'd I go, uh, knockout, oh, knockout, yeah, boy, sometimes I wish somebody would knock me out, okay, ooh, UT, knockout, and kick, we have kick, sometimes I feel like I've been kicked, all right.
Now I'm going to have to leave this out of my book for a while and let that glue really dry. But here we go. We've got our bad words and then we have our good words and like I said um, definitely know your triggers get knowledge about whatever disease you may have or chronic pain or injury or mental illness any of it just make sure you have the knowledge so that you know what you're facing and and how to handle it okay and also be kind to yourself if you don't who else is gonna so treat yourself like you would your best friend and thanks a lot, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye.